Hi and welcome back or if you're new to the channel, hello and I hope you enjoy this content. Now if you don't know who I am, I'm Marcus from Tech Governance and this is our YouTube channel uh, which we discuss all things cyber security and cyber essentials, information security, anything like that. Uh, anything from quick how to's to how to configure and protect your business. Now today's video is going to be a brief introduction about internal audits which is going to be um, a huge subject in its own right so we're only going to touch the surface today. Now if you don't know what an internal order is, uh, this video is hopefully going to at, uh, answer a couple of questions for you or uh, answer the questions that you have. Now if you don't know what an internal order is, uh, this video is hopefully going to be the one for you that's going to answer um, all your burning questions and you're hopefully going to learn something today. Now if you already uh, do perform internal audits within your business, I'd be interested to know what, what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what do you do and uh, we can go from there. Now with that, let's move on and uh, find out what an internal audit is and how it can benefit your business. So an internal audit is a process which is conducted by either a person or a group of people within your business, depending on how big your business is, and they go through, check your controls within the business. Now it can be from checking processes uh, to make sure that your documentation is in place, your change controls in place, uh, and just going through finding and making sure that everything's done and dusted. For example, you know, you might look at your processes and policies, you might um, look at other audits, um, going through HR functions and just, you know, even looking at um, physical security within your business and your computers. Now, when it comes to um, internal audits, you should look at um, including all aspects of the business to paint a full picture. So, you know, don't be worried about just consolidating IT or anything like that. Look at the whole thing. Look um, from going from the entrance of your business uh, to environmental controls um, to policies procedures everything you know just do everything now for a reasonable e sized business uh, performing a in proper internal audit against all your controls and systems in the business could take quite a while uh, so you should look at uh, planning out what you're going to be auditing when you're going to be doing it and then write a list uh, a good thing to do is actually create like a, a an internal audit schedule. So you plan out the entire year, go through your months, find all the controls that you're going to monitor or all the areas that you're going to monitor and then just list it down throughout uh, this sheet. I do like an Excel spreadsheet so I'll go from January to uh, December, list out all the issues that we're going to have, or not the, not the issues but list out all, all the areas that we're going to do and then say we're going to do two audits on January, two audits February and go all the way down. Therefore you're not actually trying to kind of do too much at the same time because if you do everything all in one go you're going to get burnt out you're going to annoy your staff and you're asking lots of questions and asking for evidence and things like that so just do a few you know maybe even one a month depending on the size of your business click on it work through it all find out what all the issues are you know are things been um, remediated from the previous one if you've done a previous one if they haven't why haven't they and go from there now you can find out if you didn't already know that um, Internal audits are used heavily within the ISO environment, so for example 9001, 27001, and these audits can help you ensure that you meet your compliance and you've got your laws and your, your regulations in the business compliant against everything. Internal audits can help you provide insight and uh, identify areas that are, are not compliant or are not being kept up to date properly. So for example, if you're getting a bit lax, I guess, on your controls and your policies, doing these internal audits will actually identify these areas. So for example, if you're rushing around doing changes for client machines and you haven't actually followed your change control process, hopefully when you do these internal audits, it'll actually pick this issue up and you can go from there, identify that the uh, words out, procedures of the processes aren't being followed, and then you can put some recommendations in place, you can tailor or maybe change your change control process so it's actually easier to work and go from there. Internal audit is all pretty much about identifying issues that aren't working or are missing and improving. You know, it's built upon improvement processing. Now, when you're um, performing an internal audit, you should start looking at one from scratch. Uh, make sure that you've got everything signed off, um, that the board or senior management have the sign off. You know, the last thing you want to do is actually start doing um, internal audits where you don't have the approval or the, the sign off from management. Because what you could be doing is going around and asking lots of pe lots of questions to lots of people or departments, then you know you get pulled up by management or senior um, department heads going, "What are you doing?" and things like that. If you've got the buy-in from the top, it just makes life a lot easier. So one of the first things you should do when you're doing internal audits is, you know, get the buy-in from management, senior management, the board, whichever it is. 
you know, explain what you're doing, why the process you're going to be working through is, is so it is, and then go from there. Right, so the actual internal audit. So when you're going through the internal audit, what, what should you be doing? Well, you should have a document um, that documents everything that you're doing. So you should, if, you, if this is a brand new internal audit, you should uh, be looking at the area of choice. So for example, if it's environmental systems, you should be looking at, are the environmental systems working? Are they in play? Do they do the job that they're meant to be doing? So for example, if there's aircon in the office, does the aircon work? Is it too hot? Is it too cold? Does it affect the whole office, the whole area or not? You know, are staff, um, are staff too cold? Are they too hot? And go from there, you know, ask the staff, make sure that everything's fine, look at the evidence, when was the last time it was serviced and things like that. Write all this down, document it at all. And then if there's any issues or if there's any, I would say not non-compliances, but if there's any issues or conformities that you identify, you know, write that down in the list, write it down in the document. And then when you come back to redo your um, issues, then you can actually go and fix it. Have a look what the last one was and go from there. So what you should do then is, um, once you've done one, you should move on to the next session and just go through there and actually just work throughout the whole business, looking at all areas. Look at your IT, look at your physical security, your environmental, your IT policies, your HR, um, onboarding processes, offboarding processes, anything in the business, everything's going for it. And then what you'll identify is when you've actually done quite a few over the years, you can actually have a look at your first one and go through there and have a look at them all. And then you'll actually start identifying the trend. Well, hopefully you won't identify a trend that you've got stuff um, broken or fixed or X, X, Y, Z controls aren't working and go from there. So it, yeah, as I said, it's all about um, change, not really change management, but it's all about continual improvement and going from, from X to Z sort of thing. Now, this has been a quite a quick um, win world tour of internal audits. There's a lot to it, as I said at the beginning. It's a massive subject. Um, if this is of interest for you, we could actually start doing a series on internal audits and we can break it all the way down. We could um, potentially show some examples, go through an example audit, um, look at the paperwork, so, you know, see what you have to do, um, how do you identify things, um, and go from that yeah so if you're interested in actually starting a little series on this you know drop some notes uh, comments down below the video and yeah we can go from there so i hope this has been informative for you um yeah i appreciate it if you like the video it shows me you know that this actually makes sense apart from me just ranting about um talking about things that i do for a living and that i enjoy and yeah subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content like this right thanks very much